Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at a new radio. This is the Hello Radio Sky V16. It is the touchscreen HTX multi protocol slash ELRS, ELRS style radio. Uh, this was sent to me by Toolkit RC anyway for the review. They're selling it on their website, I'll show you all that stuff a bit later on. So although this looks very similar to the TS16S, it is uh, quite a bit more featured. It uh, has a lot of extra... Uh, well, I think of the TS16S as the, the radio with all the bells and whistles. Well, this one has all the bells and whistles and flashing lights and extra programs and motion control and AI voice control as well. It's just incredible what they've packed into it. But we're going to have a look at most of the stuff. It is very early days. A lot of the stuff or some of the stuff isn't quite implemented yet uh, it is designed for people who want to tinker with their radios to a quite a, a deep level uh, and future versions of edge tx um, the especially it has a built-in imu gyros and accelerometers uh, which are not implemented yet in edge tx they're sort of waiting for a, a future version of edge tx before that will be available i think the ai voice control does work uh, so I will demonstrate that. All the flashy lights work. There are a few different versions. Uh, this is the Max version, I think, with the very nice Hall Effect gimbals, touchscreen, motion sensing, all that stuff built in. I personally prefer simpler radios, but this is an example of how far you can go with adding extra functionality and uh, flashy bits. So let's have a closer look anyway. We'll start with a look over at the Toolkit RC website. Uh, there's a little bit of a video there that shows you what's going on. You can see it has AI voice assistant, motion control, programmable gimbal LEDs and radio safeguard. There's the price range. Uh, that might be just for the cheaper one, possibly. Oh, here we go. Here's the price range. Uh, the V16 Max has metal gimbal, all the bits and pieces. The basic one doesn't have the programmable LEDs, AI voice assistant, radio safeguard, gyro, and uh, does have the metal wheel and the gimbal fascia. Voice assistant, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Programmable gimbal, nice flashy lights, radio safeguard. So apparently it's equipped with three high precision voltage and current sensor measurement units. And with the update of HTX software, does that mean it's not actually available at the moment? It can monitor the operating status of the system in real time and also the working status of the battery main control system, built-in high frequency module and external high frequency module in real time. So basically it's extra protection against uh, reverse polarity, low voltages and uh, excess currents and things like that. There is the gyro built-in but not yet functional with this version of HTX as far as I know. Bit of an overview there and specifications. The output power, mine is the Express LRS version. You can get 4-in-1 and Express LRS. Output power, I think, is 250 milliwatts, or that's all I can see on the uh, Express LRS Lua. So I'm guessing that's all it is with the internal module, but of course you can put an external module in and have higher power. Now on the SD card that comes with the radio, we get these speech tools here. There are some uh, setup tools where you can add your own speech commands and I guess change what the speech commands do, which, which you'll see is important a little bit later on. Unfortunately, the setup, setup uh, programs are all X's, so I'm on a Mac, so they're not going to be available to me. And some firmware that you can generate, I think, with the different voice control commands. Let's have a look at uh, the information anyway. So the voice control process, basically you, once you've acti activated it in the, uh, what is it, the telly page, I'll show you that in a minute, you just say, hello radio, it will say hello, and then you can just say any of these menu items here, like system menu, it'll pop up the system page, model menu, etc., etc which I will show you. You can also do some practical things like drop your gear, drop flaps, and do trim adjustments on ailerons, elevator, and rudder. 
And down below there are a few more commands you can introduce. Uh, in the future these will be photo, start recording, end recording, go home, GPS return, high takeoff and high land. So it's very much still under development, uh, but we'll show you what is currently working. All right, so let's have a closer look at the radio. It is a touchscreen 4.3 inch screen and we have all the usual trims. We've got the angled T6 and T5 trims up there, the six position switch, uh, the roller, the system model, return, page forward, page back and telly. All the same switches, uh, two position switch, three position, three position, three position, three position, three position, momentary and three position there, six position switch there, and you might have noticed the LEDs, let's uh, shade it a bit. You can see how we've got color changing LEDs. They're all at the moment mapped to the six position switch so we can change the colors using the switches there. We've even got a Cycle Police one. There are, these are all set up via Lua scripts in the uh, special functions, uh, even a, a couple of extra ones with sort of cycling, um, blue with yellow cycling. You either like it or you turn it all off. On the back we have, uh, this one came with a 5000 lithium ion 2S. Uh, I don't know if this actually comes with the radio but it came with the uh, review model. Uh, but it does come, I'll show you all the extra stuff that it comes with, with as well. Full-size JR bay, uh, adjustment points for the gimbal and these moulded uh, hand grips there. On the top we have trainer port, DSC port there and the USB data port there. And on the bottom we've got the headphone port, charging, two serial ports and the SD card there. And we'll just zip, zip through the screens, we've got all the scripts there, Express LRS, let's have a look at that one. And uh, the transmitter power can only go up to 250, so I'm guessing that is what the maximum power is. SD card, radio setup, themes, global functions, trainer, hardware, and this is actually where we can turn on the voice control. These are the serial ports, uh, but this is where you turn on the voice control. You choose Lua as the input for the voice control and you've got to turn the port power on. You can also get that by pushing the tele screen. Here we are here. Yeah, again, voice recognition management. Make sure the Lua is turned on and the power switch is turned on. Now the Lua script has control of gear and flaps and they are by default put on channels 5 and 6 uh, and it overrides any mixes you have on 5 and 6. Now I'm sure you Express LRS uh, users will be uh, pricking your ears up at the moment because uh, we need to keep channel 5 clear to uh, be a, an arming switch or a, an Express LRS high when it's flying switch. Uh, but they've taken it over for gear which is uh, which needs to be changed and I, I'm pretty sure you can change all of these things with those setup uh, applications but I can't do it on a Mac unfortunately. You can override channel 6 using a special function which, which is what I've done to make sure that we get uh, high channel 5 when we're flying. And on the future version we'll also have here a, uh, a head tracking or a, a motion control switch that we can turn on and there's uh, gyro adjustments pitch, roller, rotate adjustments there, which will be useful in the future, but not at the moment. And we're on HTX uh, version 2.10.1, which is a self-build, so yeah, we'll wait for future versions before it's fully um, supported by HTX. And the model menu, flight modes, inputs, mixes, outputs, curves, global variables and logical switches and special functions. You can see this is where the, uh, the, the flashy gimbal surrounds are set up by choosing different scripts there. 
this is my override channel so to make sure that I can uh, have channel 5 high when I'm um, in the air. Custom scripts and the telemetry page and we're back to model setup. Okay so now I'll demonstrate the uh, AI voice recognition. What we do is we say hello radio and then you give the next command within six or eight seconds, I think it is. Uh, so let's try system menu. Hello radio. Hello. System menu. Okay. So it brings up the system menu. Model menu. Okay. Uh, you can see it does a channel message. Okay. Telemetry. Okay. So it's just doing what I'm asking it to, basically. Uh, we can actually do some trims as well, or oh, actually, uh, what I've done here, I'll show you this one. I've plugged a servo into channel 5 on a receiver that's bound to this one. Uh, so now, uh, this is uh, effectively the gear channel. Hello radio. Hello. Open gear. Okay. Close gear. Close gear. So basically you're uh, dropping the gear down or the flaps down with uh, voice messages. Uh, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'd use it, but uh, it's interesting anyway. We can also do things like trims, hello radio. Hello. Actually, I'll return out of that. And if we look at channel six here, hello radio. Hello. Open flaps. Okay. So it goes halfway, open flaps. Okay. And it, uh, it's two stage flaps basically. Close flaps. Hello radio. Hello. Close flaps. There you go. Now we can also do uh, trims as well. Hello radio. Hello radio. Hello. Aileron adjustment. Okay. Left. 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 Right. 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 So you can see that's adjusting the aileron trims. You can do the same for elevator and rudder as well. So anyway, there you go. That's a feature that is available. Um, whether you use it or not is up to you. Here's the box it comes in. Hello Radio V16. Get a nice uh, protective case, which is that sort of high density foam. Quick start guide in English and Chinese. USB data and charging cable. 18650 2S battery holder. Uh, we get uh, Allen key and some alternative gimbal springs and uh, a neck lanyard and the radio itself. So there we have the Hello Radio Sky V16. It is a feature packed and futuristic radio. Uh, uh, a delight for hackers and tinkerers, I would imagine, uh, especially if you've got a, a Windows PC to <laughs> enable all those setup uh, apps, all those exe files. Has all the functionality of the Radio Master and Jumper 16 channel radios with the extra bling and the extra voice activation and in the future motion control that could be useful. I guess you could use motion control. Uh, they talk about head chasing feature. Uh, which I guess is sort of using it like that to operate a camera, possibly. We'll find out in the future, I guess. I wonder if all of this extra stuff actually slows down the uh, operation of the display a little bit. It seems to be a little bit laggy. You push the button and then, yeah, it's, it's a little bit slower. Uh, I'll have to try my other uh, Radio Master to see if it does the same thing. But yeah, I'd be looking to tone it all down myself if I was going to use it as my daily driver, which I probably wouldn't. I'd, I'd prefer smaller radios anyway. But, you know, uh, there are people who like these things and uh, this will uh, get them excited, I guess. Okay, that'll do for this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.